Well, good afternoon and welcome to the final of Euroquiz 2017. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to the Scottish Parliament this afternoon. Today, seated at the desk, normally occupied by our MSPs, are finalists drawn from primary schools from all over Scotland. And I know there's a team here, I'll find out where you are in a minute, who have travelled from my own constituency. All the teams have done very well to get through your heats to achieve a place in today's final. So whatever happens, big congratulations to all of you making it through to the Scottish Parliament today. I'd also like to offer a warm welcome to everyone in the public galleries, uh, friends, teachers, parents and family. You're all very welcome here in your Scottish Parliament. I'm delighted that your quiz has returned once again to Holyrood. This is my first time as quiz master, so if I make mistakes, they're deliberate to see if you're listening. And it's great to see such an invasion of primary six pupils, especially, I think some have got mascots. Who's got mascots? You hold them up. Let me see them. Oh my goodness. What? What's that at the back? What's yours? It's a Shetland pony. Are you from Shetland? Yeah. Or oh, just as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to also offer special thanks to Sir David Edward, John Mulgrew OBE, and everyone at the Scottish European Educational Trust for their efforts in ensuring the ongoing success of this excellent competition. We're also honoured to be joined by the head of the European Commission's office in Scotland, Graham Blythe, who you've already met this morning. And I'm very pleased to say that Graham will be lending me his assistant throughout today's final. It might be a lot of assistance, while I have the relatively easy task of asking the questions. It will fall to Graham to explain the answers while each round's question sheets are being marked. One of the rounds is a language round where you will listen to phrases spoken in German, French, Italian and Spanish. Luckily for you, but even luckily more for me, I'll not be saying them in the languages as my skills aren't good enough I just speak a little French and a little Russian. The Europe quiz final is also being watched live via our webcast in classrooms across the country. So, can I say hello to all of you out there, and I hope you'll be getting behind your classmates here in the chamber. And a very warm welcome to you from everyone here. What we're giving a round of applause to everybody listening. There you are. Finally, I'd like to wish all of our finalists the very best of luck and, of course, good luck if you're attempting the quiz in your classroom or, indeed, in the public galleries. I've tried it. I've failed. I hope you have a very enjoyable day. So, thank you very much. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, is go around the various schools. And if the one person in the school, I hope you've picked somebody, will put up their hand, I know where Shetland is now, to identify. First of all, Alban School, Aberdeen City, where are you? You've had a terrible journey, haven't you? All but coming down on a horse, you've had to come down in taxis and everything. Well done to arriving. Alloway Primary, where are you? There's Alloway. Bonnie Rig. Kearney Hill. Cumley Bank. Where's Cumley Bank? Oh, I can't see your hands up. You need to put them up. Cumley Bank. You're very shy. There you are. Crown Primary. Where's Crown Primary? Oh, yes, good for you. Fort Hill Primary, Dundee, where are you? There you go. Hermitage Primary. Lenzi. Loretto. Low Port. There we are. Melrose. Ah, there's my Melrose people. I'll wave back. Miller Forest. Miller Forest? Oh, they, what a lovely name, Miller Forest. Nether Robertland, Nether Robertland, Newington, Our Lady in St Francis, Skeens, where are you? Where are they? Oh, there you are, there, you're way over there. Oh, now I've got to get this right. Tell me if I've got it wrong. Skoll and Rua, is that right? Close, thank you. Springhill and Auchenbach. There we are. St. Catharines. St. Dennis. St. Dominic's. St. Leonard's. All the saints together. 
St Mary's. Oh, way at the back. St Sylvester's. Strathbay, Strathblane. Strathdevon. Tingwell. Ah, oh, yes, with the, with the Shetland pony, yes. West Kilbride. Windhill. And Whitehills. Well, goodness me, I think that's super. We've got from all over Scotland. Now, I've got a wee message to read to you from the Deputy uh, First Minister, who also is the Cabinet Secretary for Education, who unfortunately can't be here today. So here's what he has to say. Scotland believes in internationalism, and we want Scotland to be as well connected as possible to the rest of Europe and the world, so we can work well with other nations and contribute to the success of our global community. Euroquiz is a fantastic opportunity for you to learn more about and celebrate the wonderfully rich and diverse cultures, history, geography, current affairs and languages of our fellow Europeans. Language learning is exciting and can support learning about others and the development of active global citizens. That's why we are so committed to ensuring that language learning throughout school is normal for all our young people. Congratulations to everyone who has participated in this year's Euroquiz and in particular to those of you who have reached the national final here at the Scottish Parliament and good luck to all the finalists. So, it's now my great pleasure to invite Graham Blythe, Head of the Office of the European Commission in Scotland, to give an overview and explanation of how the quiz will run. Now, I'm going to pay attention and you pay attention and together we might get this right. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, you're all being very, very good. So I'll say good afternoon. You have to say good afternoon back. And remember, I'm getting old, so you're going to have to say it very loud. Good afternoon. Do you think you can do better than that? <laughs> Just to guess, give me a big cheer because we're in, we're in privilege to be here in the Scottish Parliament, in the Chamber of the Scottish Parliament, and children are watching you across Scotland, so let's give it a big good afternoon. Very good. I should actually say uh, it is indeed a fantastic privilege that we are here in the Scottish Parliament, uh, and uh, we're most grateful. Um, to the Parliament and most grateful indeed, of course, to the Deputy Presiding Officer, Christine Graham, who's taken on the role of our quiz master for the Euro Quiz. So I think before we begin any further, we should do another round of applause for Christine Graham, the Deputy <laughs> Presiding Officer. <laughs> I should also say that um, the, the, the production of the Euro Quiz is something of an iceberg. Uh, you really only see the, the tiny bit at the top. You don't see all that's, that goes on below. And I know it's a tremendous uh, work to bring this whole business together. And there's a number of unsung heroes, and I want to identify at least two of them. One I can't find at the moment, but one is sitting very quietly over here, is Jane and Madeline. I can't see Madeline, wherever Madeline is. But they, Madeline's hiding at the back, but I think Jane uh, can represent Madeline here. But Jane is from SEAT, and along with the trustees of the Scottish European Educational Trust, uh, she has travelled all over Scotland uh, to, to uh, produce the Euroquiz. So I think we should also give a round of applause to Jane and Madeline and the trustees. I should also say we are in distinguished uh, company here, as the Deputy Presiding Officer mentioned. Uh, it is indeed a great honour to have joining us here Sir David Edward, uh, who is the uh, distinguished former judge at the European Court of Justice. Sir David is sitting here. Talking about the iceberg, I know that, um, you know, to get here, as the Deputy Presiding Officer said, has been, you know, a lot of hard work, uh, it's, it's, and, and it's a great to see you all here, the, the, the finalists. But uh, we know that um, also to get you here, there's mums and dads and aunts and uncles and grannies and grandpas that have made this um, possible too, and of course, especially your teachers who have made this possible. So I think 
we should give them a round of applause too. And for teachers and parents sitting in the gallery, there are answer sheets in the program, so you can see how well you're doing in the quiz as well. Um, I should also remind you again that we are being broadcast live, and we would once again would like to uh, welcome all schools and supporters who are watching us remotely. Okay, the quiz. How is it going to be run? Um, I will uh, run through it and probably have to run through it again at a later point. But anyway, so it's, it's, this, is, this is the important point. Today's Euro quiz is made up of three rounds in which you will participate, or participate. We will start very soon with round one, which has 20 questions. These will be answered in pairs within your teams, and the points will be added up to give the team score. We then will move to round two, the language round. This involves 15 questions for teams, and during this round, you may discuss your answers. The first 10 questions are spoken questions in German, Spanish, Italian, and French, followed by five general knowledge language questions. These questions have been developed thanks to the partnership that we enjoy with, the Education, Sco with Education Scotland and SILT. Scotland's National Centre for Languages, and all the questions have been recorded in their native, by native speakers from students from Heriot Watt University here in Edinburgh. This will then be followed by round three, which focuses on history, culture, and the European Union. This round has 20 questions, and at this stage, you will again be asked to work in pairs with the person sitting next to you. Points will be added up to give the team score. After each round, I will take you through the correct answers while the papers are being marked. I'm the lucky one. I've got the answers to the question. I've got the easy part. You've got the difficult part. The two teams in the lead at the end of round three will go forward to the final round. Round four has 10 questions for teams, followed by the all-important buzzer questions to decide the overall winning team of Euroquiz 2017. I hasten to add, instructions will be repeated again before we start each round, so do not worry. It's now my privilege to hand you back to our quiz master, the Deputy Presiding Officer of the Scottish Parliament, Christine Graham, so that we can make a start. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that was a lot to remember, so I'll just very quickly go over the first round again. You've got 20 questions in round one for you to answer in pairs. So work with the person next to you. Listen, of course, to the question. You can discuss your answer, and one of you should write the answer on the answer suite. Remember, you're not allowed to confer with the other pair in your team. If that happens, there's an ejector button here, and I press it, and you'll shoot right up <laughs> through the roof. Just a wee warning. You should have two green answer sheets in front of you. Just check, one sheet per pair. Make sure you've got the name of your school at the top and listen carefully to the questions, which will also, as I understand it by the magic of technology, appear behind me. Please try to spell as well as you can, but if you get the spelling wrong, it won't count as long as we can understand what you've written down. 
that makes sense. I'll read the questions, I'll ask the question twice, but they'll not be repeated after this. And I'll give you quite a wee bit of time as we begin this to get, but we might speed up uh, with getting your answers as we go on. Here we go. Pens at the ready, brains locked in. Turn your back on your neighbours. Don't let them see what you're writing. Nicosia is the capital of which European country? Nicosia is the capital of which European country? Right, I'll move on. This is the flag of which European country? This is the flag of which European country? I forgot to do it twice. I knew I'd make a mistake, but I know you won't. Which country's one euro coin shows an image of an eagle? Which country's one euro coin shows an image of an eagle? Okay. The island of Guadeloupe is an overseas region of which European country? And you'll see the alternatives up. Portugal, Spain, or France? The island of Guadeloupe is an overseas region of which European country? Portugal, Spain, or France? Not going too fast, am I? No? Okay. Number five. What is the approximate population of Poland? 22 million, 38 million, or 45 million? What is the approximate population of Poland? A, 22 million, B, 38 million, C, 45 million. Ready? In which European capital city would you find the Charles Bridge? In which European capital city would you find the Charles Bridge? I don't think Mr. Blythe knows. He's looking puzzled. Ready? How many countries share a land border with Slovenia? How many countries share a land border with Slovenia? lot of discussion going on about that one. Okay. Which of the following is the capital city of Montenegro? Podgorica, Skopje or Sarajevo? I hope I'm saying this properly. Podgorica, Skopje or Sarajevo? It's which is the capital of Montenegro? Should be Sarajevo. I don't know what I said. Sarajevo. That's not the answer, by the way. Just because I said it twice. It may be, it may not. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Is it Barinovsky?
Okay. Number nine. Which sea did the people of ancient Rome name Mare Nostrum, meaning our sea in Latin? Which sea did the people of ancient Rome name Mare Nostrum, meaning our sea in Latin? I think you'll get this one, I hope so. The next one. We'll see. Number 10. In Norway, glaciers have carved the coast into steep, slided valleys. What are these called? In Norway, glaciers have carved the coast into steep, sided valleys. What are these called? Right? I wonder how they're getting on back at home at the schools with this. Just check when you get back. Number 11. What, this is a tricky one, what is the longest river in Scotland? The River Clyde, the River Tay, or the River Spey? What is the longest river in Scotland? The River Clyde, the River Tay, or the River Spey? All right, 12. In which European country is Lou the official currency? In which European country is Lou the official currency? Are our officials getting all of these correct? This may be easier, let's see. Number 13. The Channel Tunnel connects Calais to which English town? A, Dover, B, Portsmouth, C, Folkestone. The Channel Tunnel connects Calais to which English town? A, Dover, B, Portsmouth, or C, Folkestone. Okay. Perhaps you should ask the, the chimpanzee there. Will he be helpful? Number 14. Which of the following does not share a land border with Italy? A. France. B. Austria. C. Croatia. Which of the following does not share a land border with Italy? Is it France, Austria, or Croatia? Just seen a blue bear. I hope that's what I've seen. Is that a blue bear? It is, right. Number 15. What is the name of this landmark in Lisbon? There it is. What is the name of this landmark in Lisbon? I think that's a, I think that's a tricky one. Next one, number 16, soon, soon be there. What is the name of the mountain range which marks the eastern boundary of Europe? Is it A, the Ural Mountains, B, the Caucasus, or C, the Carpathian? What is the name of the mountain range which marks the eastern boundary of Europe, the Urals, the Caucasus, 
or Carpathian Mountains. Number 17. Which sea do Romania, Bulgaria and Turkey all border? Which sea do Romania, Bulgaria and Turkey all border? Number 18, the yellow and blue flag is the flag of which European country? Is it A, Moldova, B, Ukraine, or C, Belarus? Is it Moldova, Ukraine, or Belarus? The yellow and blue flag is the flag of which of these countries? I think that's a, quite a tough question. It's quite a tough question. Number 19. In which Baltic state would you find the historic Trakai Castle, which is built on an island in the middle of a lake? There's a picture of it. In which Baltic state would you find the historic Trakai Castle, which is built on an island in the middle of a lake? One of these, you either know it or you don't, questions, I'm afraid. And the last question, number 20 in this round. In which country would you find the Lardal Tunnel, the longest road tunnel in Europe? In which country would you find the Lardal Tunnel, the longest road tunnel in Europe? There we are. Have a quick check over your answers. Make sure that they're legible. Now, can I ask the teachers who are doing the marking to collect in the answer papers, please? Can I, just, can I just check that all the papers have been collected in, have they? Right. Now, crunch time. Can I ask Graeme Blythe to come to lecture and take us through all the answers? And we'll see how we did. Thank you.
Phew, uh, that's pretty tough, I thought, and I've got the answer sheet. Um, so um, I think you're going to have to, even though I've got the answer sheet, you're going to have to give me a wee bit of a hand with this as well, because uh, you, you've got the answers better than me. But um, so let's try and let's, let's do a mixture of, 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 of you and also the, the answers for me. So let's go to the very first question. Can anyone tell me from any of the schools? Oh, everyone. <laughs> gosh. We'll just pick one at random, and I'm, you're testing my eyesight here. So let's go for the Hermitage. Which uh, primary school, which uh, Nicosia is the capital of which European country? Cyprus, indeed. Nicosia is indeed the capital of Cyprus. Well done, the Hermitage Primary School. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. Yeah, I've got it, yes. The, this is the flag. Oh, la, 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 everyone seems to know this. Actually, yeah, the, actually I'm going to have to go to, we're definitely going to have to go to Shetland here because you've, you've, you've done, the, you've traveled the furthest. I know the Western Isles will dispute that. So I'm coming to you next. But let's go, for, let's go to, to Shetland. This is the flag of which European country, Shetland? Croatia, indeed. Shetland's got that right. This is the, this is the flag of Croatia. Well done. Okay, now over to the, the, the Western Isles. Let's see if we get this right. Or if you don't have to, if you don't want to do it, we'll get somebody else. Don't worry, we'll get somebody else. Okay, let's go to Pram Pri Primary School. We'll come back to the Western Isles. Don't worry, don't be shy. Germany. Um, the, which which, which oh. country's one pound coin shows an image of an eagle? Crown Primary yeah. School. Germany. Germany is correct. It's the uh, one pound coin is of Germany. Okay. Now let's go to a very hot lovely warm place called Guadeloupe. It's an overseas region of which European country? Now here we're going to test my eyesight here. Let's go for St. Dominic's primary here. Portugal. Uh, is it France? It is France. Well done. Oh, come on. Yes. The island of Guadeloupe is an overseas region of France. Well done. Question five. What is the approximate population of Poland? Kenny Hill. 38 million. Correct. This is a 100% score for everyone at the moment. So it is 38 million as the population of Poland. As the deputy presiding officer said, I didn't quite know where this was from. Um, so which, um, from which European capital would you find this beautiful bridge? Let's go for Miller Forest. Prague. Miller Forest got that right. 100% answers are correct. It is Prague. The seventh question, which I thought was particularly tough, to be honest. Um, how many countries share a land border with Slovenia? Oh, we'll go back to the Western Isles. I haven't forgotten you. Four. Well done. Excellent. Tapala. Which of the following is the capital city of Montenegro? Aloe. Podgorica. Very good. Podgorica is the capital city of uh, Montenegro. Excellent. Well done. Tough question. Number nine. Which sea did the people of ancient Rome name Mare Nostrum, meaning RC in Latin? Loreto Junior School. Mediterranean. The Mediterranean, well done. It is the Mediterranean Sea. In beautiful Norway, glaciers have been carved out of the coast into deep-sided valleys. What are these called? Lenzi? Fjords, well done, excellent. So in Norway, the fjords of the beautiful fjords of Norway. Okay, we now we've got a Scottish question, and Cumley Bank says he knows the answer, so let's go to Cumley Bank. What is the longest river in Scotland? Be the River Tay. Be the River Tay, indeed, and it's a beautiful picture of the River Tay. So 100% score at the moment, still very, very good. 
number 12, which I must say I thought was a hard question. Um, in which European country is the Lu, the official currency? So now I'm going to test my eyesight again. St. Leonard's in East Kilbride. Hungary? No, not in Hungary. There's, do you want to say again? Romania. Romania. Well done. The, I thought this was also a slightly tricky question, actually. Um, the Channel Tunnel connects Calais to which English town? So we'll go at the back again. Shall we try St. Dennis Primary School? Dover. Not Dover. It's a tricky question, this was. Yes. So shall we go down to... Yes. Where should we go? White, White Hill Primary School. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Our Lady... In St. Francis. Folkestone. Folkestone, well done. Well done. The Channel Tunnel connects Calais to Folkestone. Again, a tricky question, I thought this was. Which of the following does not share a land border with Italy? Shall we go for Sheens? Croatia. Croatia is correct. Well done. Excellent. Question 15. What is the name of this landmark in Lisbon? Who, has, who wants to go for this? Who haven't I done? Whoops, let's go over here. Strathblane. Um, um, the Bellum Tower. Excellent. The Bellum Tower. Well done. Yeah. The Bellum Tower in Lisbon. Number 16. Um, what is the name of the mountain range which marks the eastern boundary of Europe? Shall we go back to Alloway? It is the Euro Mountains. Well done. Excellent. Yeah. 17. Which sea do Romania... Bulgaria and Turkey all border. I have to go at the back with my eyesight. Uh, Shetland, I can see you there, but we'll go Shetland. I know you've come a long way, but we'll go somewhere else. Um, Melrose, have to go for the Deputy Presiding Officers School. The Black Sea. The Black Sea, indeed. Well done. This yellow and blue flag is the flag of which Europe country. Shall we go for Never Robert Land Primary School? The Ukraine. The Ukraine. Excellent. Well done. The Ukraine is the, is, is the, is the yellow, has a yellow and blue flag. The penalty. You see, you're all doing incredibly well, I must say. It's tough marking here with the teachers and the trustees. Um, number 19. In which Baltic state would you find the historic Trakai Castle, which is built on an island in the middle of a lake? St. Dominic seems very keen to answer this. Was it Lithuania? Lith wow, excellent. Really very well done. Lithuania, correct. And finally, 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 and I must say, I thought it was the Euro Tunnel, so I got that one wrong. Um, in which country would you find the La del Tunnel? The longest road tunnel in Europe. Who should we go? Bop, 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 bop. Where should we go? This side again? Who hasn't answered? White side. If I can read it correctly. White Hill. Sorry, I can't read. Norway. Sorry? Norway. 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 Excellent. Well, well done. Really well done. Many congratulations to you all. And I think you all deserve to give yourselves a big round of applause. Well done. My goodness, you should all be a mastermind. That was absolutely extraordinary. Or either that, I'll go back to primary six and start again. We now move on to round two. This involves 15 questions for teams and you may discuss your answers. You should have one blue answer sheet per team in front of you, please write the name of your school at the top of the sheet. 
I understand it's all four of you this time. The first 10 questions are spoken language questions in German, Spanish, Italian and French, followed by five general knowledge language questions in English. For the first five questions, you'll be asked five questions in English, then you'll hear a short phrase or question spoken in the different European languages, and I'll repeat, German, Spanish, Italian and French. You will hear each recording twice. After the second time, you'll be given a few moments to discuss the answer with your team, write down your answer in English on your sheet. You may make notes at any time, but it's extremely important, I know you'll understand this, that you remain silent while you're listening to the voices. And obviously when you're discussing the answer, I do it in a little whisper, just so nobody else hears what you think the answer is. So we start. Number one, what does this mean in English? Wie heißt du? Como te llamas? Como te chiami? Como t'appelles tu? Now, quietly, because we're going to repeat it. Just Wie heißt du? Just now, sorry. Como te llamas? Como te chiami? Comment t'appelles-tu? Right. Second question. What does this person want to know? Hast du ein Haustier? Tienes un animal en casa? Hai animali domestici? Tu as un animal? Repeat it again, please. Hast du ein Haustier? Tienes un animal en casa? Hai animali domestici? Tu as un animal? Third question. What does this mean in English? Wann hast du Geburtstag? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? C'est quand ton anniversaire? And I'll have that repeated again, please. Wann hast du Geburtstag? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? C'est quand ton anniversaire? discussion going on with that one. What is this person asking for? Wo ist der Bahnhof? Donde está la estación de tren? Dove la stazione dei treni? Où est la gare? Repeat it, please. Wo ist der Bahnhof? Donde está la estación de tren? Dove la stazione dei treni? Où est la gare? Ah. 
And the last one in the listening questions, what is your teacher asking you to do? Setzt euch. Sentaos. Sedetevi. Asseyez-vous. <laughs> Repeat, please. Setzt euch. Sentaos. Sedetevi. Asseyez-vous. Right, and now for questions six to ten, you'll be asked five questions in English. You'll hear the answers spoken in German, Spanish, Italian, and French. Please write down the answer to the question in English on your sheet. You don't need to translate the whole phrase, just listen for the piece of information you're asked for. The questions are written on your answer sheets to remind you. You may make notes at any time, but again, it's very important that you're silent while you're listening to their voices. I know it's tempting to whisper, but if you just wait and then you can write it down, then you can speak once you've had it. So number six. What type of soup do they order? Ich hätte gerne eine Kartoffelsuppe. Me gustaría tomar una sopa de patatas. Vorrei la zuppa di patate. Je voudrais de la soupe de pommes de terre. I'll repeat that. What type of soup do they order? Repeat, please. Ich hätte gerne eine Kartoffelsuppe. Me gustaría tomar una sopa de patatas. Vorrei la zuppa di patate. Je voudrais de la soupe de pommes de terre. Question seven. What age is my sister Eva? Meine ältere Schwester heißt Eva. Sie ist 18 Jahre alt. Mi hermana mayor se llama Eva. Tiene 18 años. Mia sorella maggiore si chiama Eva. Ha 18 anni. Ma sœur aînée s'appelle Eva. Elle a 18 ans. What age is my sister Eva? Repeat, please. Meine ältere Schwester heißt Eva. Sie ist 18 Jahre alt. Mi hermana mayor se llama Eva. Tiene 18 años. Mia sorella maggiore si chiama Eva. Ha 18 anni. Ma sœur aînée s'appelle Eva. Elle a 18 ans. Question 8. What day and time does the film start? Am Samstag gehen wir ins Kino. Der Film beginnt um halb zwölf. El sábado vamos al cine. La película empieza a las once y media. Sábado andiamo al cinema. Il film comincia alle undici e mezzo. Samedi, nous allons au cinéma. Le film commence à onze heures et demie. What day and time does the film start? Repeat, please. Am Samstag gehen wir ins Kino. Der Film beginnt um halb zwölf. 
El sábado vamos al cine. La película empieza a las once y media. Sábado andiamo al cinema. Il film comincia alle undici e mezzo. Samedi, nous allons au cinéma. Le film commence à 11 h et demie. Question 9. Listen to the weather report. What is the weather going to be like today? Heute regnet es. Hoy llueve. Oggi piove. Aujourd'hui, il pleut. Listen to the weather report. What is the weather going to be like today? Repeat, please. Heute regnet es. Hoy llueve. Oggi piove. Aujourd'hui, il pleut. Question 10. What is Jessica's favorite color? Jessica trägt immer schwarz. Das ist ihre Lieblingsfarbe. Jessica siempre lleva el color negro. Es su color favorito. Jessica si veste siempre en nero. Es el su color preferido. Jessica porte toujours des vêtements noirs. C'est sa couleur préférée. What is Jessica's favorite color? Repeat, please. Jessica trägt immer schwarz. Das ist ihre Lieblingsfarbe. Jessica siempre lleva el color negro. Es su color favorito. Jessica si veste sempre in nero. È il suo colore preferito. Jessica porte toujours des vêtements noirs. C'est sa couleur préférée. Right. The final five questions for this round are general knowledge language questions. These will be asked in English and will be displayed on the screen behind me. I will ask each question twice. Please listen carefully as they will not be repeated after this. Question 11. Edinburgh is known as Dunedin. In which European language? Edinburgh is known as Dunedin. In which European language? Question 12. Which of the following is the official language of the Netherlands? Frisian, Flemish, or French? Which of the following is the official language of the Netherlands? A, Frisian, B, Flemish, or C, French? Question 13. In which European country is the national language called Hrvatsky? In which European country is the national language called Hrvatsky?
lot of conferring in this round. Number 14, name two Germanic languages. Name two Germanic languages. I nearly read out the answer, actually, so it's just as well I didn't. <laughs> Big discussion at Kearney Hill. Big discussion. Number 15. Lasso dies means good morning in the language of which people who live in many parts of Europe? Fill in the blank. Lasso dies means good morning in the language of dot, 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 dot people who live in many parts of Europe. Fill in the blank, please. Right. I'm going to say that that's actually the end of round two. And just like round one, I now ask teachers to collect the papers for marking and you can talk amongst yourselves. I think all the papers have been collected in, so to put you out of your misery, put me out of my misery, I'll ask Graham Blythe to elect him to take us through the answers. I thought that was pretty tough. You can certainly tell why your finalist, I, I agree with the Deputy Presiding Officer, that was particularly tough, I, I must say. But anyway, I think we're going to try and do this again, and we're going to, uh, I've, I've tried to, um, I think we're, I'm going to need your help, even though I've got the answers on this. So let's, um, let's uh, start again and see where we can, we can help each other. So if we can begin at the beginning, what does this mean in English? Comment t'appelles tu, Sheens? What is your name? What is your name? What are you called exactly? Well done. Second question. What does this person want to know? Kenny Hill. Do you have a pet? Do you have any pets? A pet. Well done. Exactly. Well done. Third question, what does this mean in English? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? Never Robert Land Primary School. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Well done, exactly, well done. Number four. What is this person asking for? 
So we'll go to Aberdeenshire, Miller Forest. Where is the train station? Where is the train station? Well done, excellent, yes. Number five. What is your teacher asking you to do? Let's go back to the people who've traveled the furthest. Let's go back to Shetland. Sit down. It's not working. Sit down. Sit down. Excellent. Well done. Number six. What type of soup do they... I would like potato soup. There you are. So we're not going to do that. Well, there you are. We got, we got the answers up there. Okay. <laughs> Shows you I can't even see nearby. So, okay. We, I think we can do this one pretty rapidly. What age is my sister Eva? I think she's 18. <laughs> Number eight, we'll do this one rapidly as well. I think the answer on the board is on um, number eight. There you are. On Saturday, we go to the cinema. The film starts at... When does the film start? 11.30. Well done. Number nine. Listen to the weather report. What is the weather going to be like today? Appropriately enough, today it is raining. And number 10, what is Jessica's favorite color? Jessica always wears black. It is her favorite color. See if, we, oh, now we don't have the answer. So definitely going to the Western Isles on this one. That is for sure. See if you can get this one, Western Isles. Edinburgh is known as Dunedin. In which European language? Gaelic. Well done. In Gaelic, Dunedin is Edinburgh. Well done. Not so easy about the, 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 the answers. So I've, I've got them. This was also quite a tricky question as well. Which of the following is the official language of the Netherlands? Shall we go to White Hill Primary School? White Hill's probably from Angus. Is it French? It's not French. It's a tricky one. Can anyone else help out? Are we? Flemish. Not Flemish, so it has to be third choice. Who? So shall we go? It's a tricky one. It was a pretty tricky question, must be said. And here we are. There you are. See, so you got it. St. Leonard's, you got it right then. Frisian. Frisian, well done. We had the picture of the flag earlier on uh, in the competition. Can anyone help me out? In which European country is the national language called Havatski? So shall we go to uh, Newington? Croatia, well done. And we're on the penultimate question. There are actually five possible answers, and I understand you get two for one point. So there's five possible answers here. So shall we try and get them all done? And we'll start at, we'll start with Cumberley Bank. It's Cumberley Park. Cumberley Park. Cumberley Park. My eyesight's terrible. My excuse, my, my, my apologies. Sorry, go again. English. English is one of the correct answers. Shall we go? St. Dominic's Primary from Perth and Kinross. German is. German is another correct answer. Shall we go to Our Lady in St. Francis? Swedish. From North Lanarkshire. Swedish? No, not um, uh, Swedish, yes, yeah, sorry. I can't, can't even read my own writing. <laughs> Swedish is quite correct. And I think we are missing two. Can Crown Primary School help out? Dutch. Correct. Now there's one left. 
St. Catherine's Primary School from Renfrewshire. Yeah. No, not French. Shall we go? Who can help me out here? <laughs> Back to the West Niles. I think it might be Frisian. Frisian? No, it's not Frisian. It's quite hard. It'd be, shall I give you a clue? Okay, we've got a very keen St. Sylvester's at the back here, so I think Sylvester's might get this. Slovakian? No, 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 gosh. Okay, Lowport Primary. No. Albine, who's had that terrible journey to get here. German. Albine, sorry? German. No. Does somebody want to say it? I'll give you a clue. It begins with D. Fourth Hill Primary. Begins with D. Gosh, you're all really very keen. I don't know who to choose. Let's go back to Crown Primary School. Danish, well done. Excellent, excellent, yeah. And I must say, if I, th I thought this was pretty hard, the penultimate question, but I must say uh, that the last question was, I thought, very, very hard. So uh, c congratulations to whoever got this. Uh, Lasher dies means good morning in the language of what people who live in many parts of Europe. Fill in the blank. The slight clue to a very, very difficult question, there were four spaces, but that was it, which was a pretty hard question. So where should we go? Should we go to, we got a very keen St. Dominic's here, primary, from Perth and King Ross. Roma. The Roma, well done, excellent. So I think again, uh, I think you all deserve a huge, great big round of applause for doing extremely well. Congratulations. I think, I think what interests me was watching you. Can you put your hands up, those who understood the questions in German? In Spanish? in Italian, in French. I thought so, I thought so. Now we move on to our third and final round, and after round three, we'll know who our finalists are. This round will be 20 questions for you to answer, and we're back to being in pairs. You work with the person next to you, listen to the question. You can then discuss your answer, and one of you should write the answer on the answer sheet. Remember, you're not allowed to confer with the other pair in your teams. Remember the ejector button that I have up here, which I use for naughty MSPs. And remember not to let the other people in your team know what you're doing or saying. You should have two pink answer sheets in front of you, one per pair, and please write the name of your school at the top of your sheet. As with the previous rounds, the question will be asked twice. Please listen carefully and they'll also appear on the screen behind me. Off we go. Pens at the ready, brains engaged. Number one. In which country would you traditionally eat Wiener Schnitzel? In which country would you traditionally eat Wiener Schnitzel? Number two, Wales and the Galician region of Spain share cultural roots with which ancient European peoples? A, the Goths, B, the Vikings, and C, the Celts. The Goths, the Vikings, or the Celts. Wales and the Galician region of Spain share cultural roots with which of these ancient European peoples? Number three, what is the name of the golf tournament in which a team of European golfers compete against an American team? What is the name of the golf tournament in which a team of European golfers compete against an American team? Holy.
you're making now. No, I don't know. <laughs> Number four. Ole Kurt Christensen, the inventor of Lego, was from which European country? And I'm sure there's some, nobody in here that doesn't know about Lego. Ole Kurt Christensen, the inventor of Lego, was from which EU country? Number five, which group represents local authorities and gives the regions of Europe a say in EU policy making? A, the European Council, B, the Committee of the Regions, C, the European Court of Justice. Which group represents local authorities and gives the regions of Europe a say in EU policy making? A, the European Council, B, the Committee of the Regions, or C, the European Court of Justice. Six, what was the nationality of the famous, famous painter Rembrandt? What was the nationality of the famous painter Rembrandt? And that's a self-portrait we're looking at. Number seven, in which country was the communications company Nokia founded? In which country was the communications company Nokia founded? Number eight, from which country does this folk dance originate? From which country does this folk dance originate? Number nine, what is the name of the woman who led the French army to a number of important victories during the Hundred Year War and was burned at the stake at the age of 19? What is the name of the woman who led the French army to a number of important victories during one, the Hundred Year War and was burned at the stake at the age of 19? Number 10, raclette, manchego, and barata are all types of what? Raclette, manchego, and barata are all types of what? Number 11, during the Middle Ages, Islam was the main religion of southern Spain. In which Andalusian city would you find this medieval Spanish mosque? During the Middle Ages, Islam was the main religion of southern Spain. In which Andalusian city would you find this medieval Spanish mosque?
Number 12, this is a beezer. Who made a speech in 1950 announcing Jean Monnet's idea to establish the European coal and steel community? Who made a speech in 1950 announcing Jean Monnet's idea to establish the European coal and steel community? Number 13. In which country was the game Minecraft created and developed? In which country was the game Minecraft created and developed? Number 14. On the 21st of September 1964, Malta declared its independence. By which European country was it formally ruled? On the 21st of September 1964, Malta declared its independence. By which European country was it formally ruled? Fifteen, in which European city would you find the Anne Frank Museum? In which European city would you find the Anne Frank Museum? Sixteen, which Swedish scientist invented dynamite? Which Swedish scientist invented dynamite? Seventeen. The 25th of March 2017 marked the anniversary of the European Economic Community. How many years ago was this community formed? On 25th March 2017, it marked the anniversary of the European Economic Community. How many years ago was this community formed? I think you pronounce it bigos or bigos. A meat and cabbage stew is a dish associated with which European country? Bigos or bigos, a meat and cabbage stew is a dish associated with which European country? Number 19, from which country do these three famous people come from? Marouane Fellaini, Hergé Stromae. From which country do these three famous people come? Marouane Fellaini, Hergé Stromae.
I know the answer to that one, so I'm happy. <laughs> Number 20. Dacia is a car manufacturing company. In which European country was it founded? Dacia, a car manufacturing company. In which European country was it founded? Right, it's getting exhausting this and I'm not even doing all the questions. I'm sure you're getting tired. Anyway, well done. I'd like to invite the teachers for the final time to collect all the question papers, please. Now, just like before, could I ask Graham Black to come to lecture and take us through all the answers? Thanks again, uh, Deputy Pre Presiding Officer. Um, that was um, also, I think, quite a, a pretty tough round and shows um, how well you've done to come all the way to the, the finals here. Uh, to the Chamber of the Scottish Parliament. So again, many congratulations. We're going to try and mix this up a wee bit this time. I'm going to do one thing that I'm sure the Deputy Presiding Officer would never allow. Uh, I think we're just going to try and shout out one question in, in unison to see how loud we can possibly get, if that's okay. The Deputy Presiding Officer? What would you do if I said no? <laughs> <laughs> I would do as I was told. Uh, but let's see if we can all get this one. In which, and we shout this out aloud all together to see how noisy we can be in the chamber. In which country would you traditionally eat Wiener Schnitzel? Austria! Austria, well done. <laughs> we'll do the second one with a shout, and then we better not do a shout of that, otherwise I will be in trouble. Wales and the Galician region of Spain share cultural roots with which ancient European peoples? The Celts. The Celts, well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we better not do any more shouting as I will be told off. But anyway, this, is a, this happens to be quite a Scottish question, the next one. What is the name of the golf tournament in which a team of European golfers competes against an American team? It was actually held here in Glen Eagles in Scotland. Oh, uh, the Ryder Cup. And, okay, for a bonus point, does, does anyone know which team won? Was it the Europeans or the Americans? The European team won. The Ryder Cup in 2014, but I have amnesia who won last year. I can't remember. Um, Oli Kirk Christensen, the inventor of Lego, was from which EU country? <laughs> I've been allowed you to shout. Well done, uh, Denmark. Although, actually, I'm going to ask Shetland this question, only Shetland, because the reason is Councillor Gary Robertson, is, who is the leader of Shetland Council, is a... Uh, representative on this particular organization. So only Shetland, see if Shetland knows what he's a representative on. Councillor Guy Robinson, 
Is he a representative on? European Council. Not the European Council. He's a representative on the Committee of the Regions. I think we'll go back to a unified answer again. Sorry to put, sorry, sorry to put Shetland on the spot there. Uh, that, that was a bit unfair, but uh, as I say, the leader of Shetland Council is a representative on the Committee of the Regions. Anyway, we think we'll all do this together. Uh, what was the nationality of the famous painter Rembrandt? Well done, Dutch. Number seven. In which country was the communications company Nokia founded? Finland. Finland. Well done. And where's this funny dance from? From which, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say funny, excuse me. From which folk dance, this, uh, from which country does folk dance uh, come from? No, 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 no. Much closer to home. <laughs> South of the border. England. And for a bonus point, can anyone tell what dance they're doing? <laughs> Middle of the forest. River dance? No. <laughs> close, close. <laughs> Morris dancing. They're doing Morris dancing. Okay, this famous, famous lady uh, who was, uh, led the French army to a number of victories during the Hundred Year War and was burned at the stake at the age of 19. It was called? Joan of Arc. Well done. Raclette, Manchego, and Burrata are all types of? Cheese. They can see. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> During the Middle Ages, Islam was the main religion of southern, sunny southern Spain. In which Andalusian city would you find this medieval Spanish mosque? Malaga, Seville. Does anyone know? Begins of a C. Who said Cordoba? St. Dominic's Primary. Doesn't matter. No, Very good. Doesn't. Pretend you did. Well done. Whoever said Cordoba, I didn't hear. Body rig, sorry. Well done. Excellent. Cordoba. It's a beautiful city. Okay, this is a very famous man who made a speech in 1950. Um, and his name was Jean Monnet. And it was idea to. Uh, sorry. Who made a speech in 1950 announcing Jean Monnet's idea to establish the European coal and steel community? Robert Very good, Robert Schumann. And indeed, we, this was marked in Edinburgh on the 9th of May. There was a public celebration with about 20 European countries to mark Europe Day here in the city of Edinburgh. And we had the Cabinet Secretary for External uh, Relations, and we also had Minister Mike Russell join us there too. Number 13, in which country was the game Minecraft created and developed? Sweden. Sweden. Yeah, you all got that one right. I got that one wrong. <laughs> okay. We continue shouting the chamber. Whoops. Uh, on the 21st of September, 1964, Malta declared its indep independence. By which European country was it formally ruled? The United Kingdom or Great Britain? The next one is a, is a rather sad uh, story behind it, of course. Um, the little girl who, um, Anne Frank was a little girl who was killed by the Nazis, and she died at the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp in 1945. Uh, but where did Anne Frank live, and where is today's Anne Frank Museum? Amsterdam. Beautiful Amsterdam, indeed. My colleague from the European Parliament, who's sitting up there, I feel like testing him on this, see if he gets it right. Uh, which uh, Swedish scientist invented dynamite? Alfred, Alfred Nobel, uh, the founder of the Nobel Prize 
uh, itself, the, the, under which the Nobel Prize is, is named after. Number 17, the 25th of March, 2017 marked the anniversary of the European Economic Community. How many years ago was this community formed? 60 years. 60 years. I should say that, um, well done, excellent, well done. This was marked here in Scotland uh, in a number of places, including at the University of Edinburgh, where Sir David Edward uh, presided a quite important uh, uh, speech. Number 18. Bigos, a meat and cabbage stew as a dish associated with which European country? <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. Whoa, whoa, stop, stop, just a minute. Number of answers here, but I'm going back to St. Dominus because he just seemed very keen to get this right. Is it Poland? Poland, excellent, well done. The penultimate question, um, these men, Maroon Fellani, Hergé, and Stromae, and by the way, I'll just tell you, my daughter will not believe me, but I actually know who Stromae is, actually. Uh, he's a, a singer and a rapper. Now, my daughter would never believe me in a thousand years, but I do know him. Uh, but Hergé of Tintin, and of course, the famous football player, they come from the land of, the fan of great chocolate. Do you know where the land of great chocolate is? Belgium, there you are. Everyone got 100% mark on that. And finally, number 20. Dashia is a car manufacturing country. In which European country was it founded? Italy. Not Italy. Italy. Not Germany. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do it by one last school and sheens. Romania. Romania is the correct answer. Excellent. Very many thanks to you all. Again, it's very many th uh, you, deserve, uh, you deserve to give yourselves a big round of applause because you've done extremely well. I'm bowing out now, but just before I do, so I think we definitely need to give the Deputy Presiding Officer, Christine Graham, a big round of applause for letting us come here today. Now, that brings us to the end of the first few rounds. I'm sure you all want to know your scores, but we've got to wait for them to be marked. But I think everyone needs a short break. If you want a drink of water, if you move to the back of the room, you can get some water. If you want to go out to toilets, you go through the door at the back of the chamber. I'd like an air hostess over at that door over there. Uh, and uh, someone will show you the direction. Can I ask you, please, in any event, to be back here at 2.55. So it's a 15-minute break, but certainly get up and move around. You've been sitting still a long time. We'll see you at 2.55.